Dooku, Yoda, and Mace Windu are perhaps some of the most famous Jedi lightsaber duelists, but today I wanted to highlight another extremely proficient Jedi Master. Today we will be discussing a Jedi Master who Yoda believed could rival Dooku and who potentially was more powerful than Dooku himself. The only rival for Dooku in fact, besides Yoda. A Jedi Master who would have the opportunity to achieve the prestigious rank of Weapons Master of the Jedi Order. A Jedi Master Master who Qui-Gon Jinn was extremely close to and who shared similar views on the Force as Jinn. This Jedi's name was Anun Bandara. After he began his training as a Jedi Padawan, Anun ascended to the rank of a Jedi Knight, where he chose the role of a Jedi Guardian. The Guardians being the Jedi Knights of the Order that protected the Order through combat and use of a lightsaber and chose to focus more on the lightsaber than the ways of the Force. It was after becoming a Jedi Guardian that Anun became obsessed with the weapon, determined to learn everything he could about it. In secret, he even delved into the forbidden lightsaber form known as Juyo, which which was one that was pioneered by the Sith Order and forbidden by the Jedi Council at large. Still though, Anun believed that he was powerful enough and cemented enough in the light side of the Force that he could use the form without falling to the dark side, an assumption that rarely he was correct on, as he never did. Anun believed that if he followed the core belief of the Force and the Force itself, it would never lead him down the dark path. He believed that the role of the dark side of the Force was selfishness, and that if he remained selfless, he could remain a Jedi and use Juyo. Again, an assumption he was ultimately proven correct on, as he never fell or was even really tempted by the dark side. When you are one with the Force, you are as nothing, a calm in the storm, a pivot to a lever chaos may rage around you, yet you are still. After ascending to the rank of Jedi Master, Anun became one of the many instructors to the future legendary Jedi Obi-Wan Kenobi, as he was close friends with his master Qui-Gon. Personally though, Anun was able to instruct three Jedi Padawans to the rank of knighthood. This was extremely impressive, as normally a Jedi Master ever only trained one Padawan to the rank of knight. After several more years, he trained a fourth Jedi Padawan, and the time arose for this fourth Padawan to achieve the Jedi Trials. In order to prove themselves worthy to be a Jedi Knight, Anun as well as his Padawan were sent on a secret mission. Unfortunately though, this would be Anun's last. On the mission, the Jedi Padawan as well as Anun came into contact with the secret Sith Lord Darth Maul. Allowing his apprentice to flee, sensing how powerful this Sith apprentice was, Anun engaged him in lightsaber combat. Darth Maul in fact was extremely impressed that a Jedi Master was able to achieve Juyo as he too specialized in the lightsaber form. He was also extremely impressed as the Jedi Master also used the fighting form known as Teres Kaze, something that Maul himself used as well. Teres Kaze was actually a hand-to-hand -hand fighting style that was specifically designed to combat Jedi. Realizing this, Maul was exceptionally impressed that a Jedi Master himself would use it in combat, although it was clearly as a last resort. Have you ever heard of the art of Teres Kaze? It was designed to counter the Jedi, but I find it works quite well on anyone with limbs to break. Unfortunately though, Darth Maul proved too powerful for the aging Jedi Master. Realizing that he was about to die, but wishing to at least injure the Sith Lord, Anun used the Force to bring his speeder towards them. As the speeder crashed, Darth Maul only narrowly jumped away, as Anun met his final fate. Although Maul had managed to survive, he was extremely badly injured and crawled back into the shadows. Following his death, Anun was considered one of the greatest Jedi swordsmen who had ever lived, even rivaling that of Dooku, despite being defeated in combat by a secret Sith Lord, a Sith Lord that the Jedi remained utterly unaware of. The tales of Anun would venture throughout the Jedi Order until Order 66 was commenced and all records of him were wiped utterly from the star maps. Still though, in my opinion, Anun remains one of the most underrated and powerful Jedi Masters that few know about. Again, he was a Jedi that was able to use Juyo without falling to the dark side of the Force, and one of the only Jedi to ever succeed in doing this. A Jedi whose commitment to the light side of the Force rivaled that of Yoda and Luke Skywalker. But I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on Anun Bandara and had you heard of him before this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. May the Force be with you and have a great day.